I'll never forget when I heard the words, Claire, the results of your biopsy have come back and you have stage one invasive cervical cancer. And you know, my jaw dropped and my heart stopped and the instant thought was, is this the end of me? Still young and bulletproof at 29, you know, no sense of my own mortality. I'd never even really heard of cervical cancer before being so young. I just didn't even think about it. And I did jump onto the Cancer Council website. The guidance that they gave at the time, which was each case is different. Each outcome is different. It depends on your circumstances. It depends on the treatment you need. So we were in to see the oncologist within three days. By the Tuesday, we we're in seeing him, Tuesday morning, and he was brilliant. I made it clear to him that I wanted children, but he was very much about me and getting me well. It was, yeah, it was a real, a real kick in the teeth, really. I, it was something that I really was passionate about, being a mum and, yeah. When we got the results back from the cone biopsy, there was a margin of clear skin around my cancerous cells before it entered the bloodstream of 0.3 millimetres, which means it could have been a week, a month, a year, but it was heading into my lymph nodes and it was heading into being really problematic and it was only through regular pap tests that it picked it up in time. So getting the letter saying, it's been two years since your last pap test, go and get it done, saved my life. To be honest, it, it really did save my life. In September 2008, we had our beautiful boy Reuben, who's now four and a half, and we were truly blessed to have Reuben. He's a beautiful little boy and uh, very, very lucky. And now we've had another little bubby just recently, so Esther is now 12 weeks old. Pink Ribbon Day is a special day. It helps to, to really drive change, drive awareness, and you know, either whether it's supporting via the Facebook page or just buying a ribbon or wearing pink on the day in honor of somebody that you know has gone through it, is going through it, has been through it. You know, it just, just sends that message that you're not alone to the people that are going through it. And I think you just can't, you know, it's priceless. When you're going through it, you need all the support you can get. So every bit helps.